It's really bad. No, it's really, really, really bad. A freight train, an 18-wheeler. Snoring can be loud and disruptive for you and your family. There are times when uh, it's really thick. Then you can actually hear it drop off, and then it'll just raise up like, <sighs> it's bad. If only, if only there was an over-the-counter product that could help you quit snoring. Well, our consumer investigator, Hank Winchester, is testing out a couple products that might do the trick. It's a fairly common problem in the bedroom, and the numbers are surprising. Roughly 50% of men and almost 30% of women snore. It not only affects your sleep, but also the sleep of the person that you may be sharing your bed with. Well, now there are new products out there that claim they can solve this issue once and for all. Pillows, chin straps, even eye masks. There are so many products out there on the market claiming they can help you stop snoring. Would you like to put a stop to your snoring? But do any of them really work? Right now, we're testing out two newer products that have been getting a lot of attention. Estimated between 20 to 50% of the population uh, based on gender and age. And it happened because of narrowing somewhere in the airway from the nasal passages all the way to the throat. So the air get turbulence and so you can get the vibration and hear the snoring. Snoring has been a big, long time problem for Yolanda Green. My dad was a snorer. And I think what I'm going to say is I'm right up there with him. You never realize how bad it is until actually I started this exercise and I started listening to myself. It's really bad. She usually uses a CPAP machine at night. But it's so uncomfortable, you know, trying to figure out, you know, where you want to be and how you want to lay. So when I offered her a few products to test that could stop her snoring, she was all in. The first is the tongue retaining device. It sells for $17. It claims to gently suction your tongue, keeping it from falling to the back of your throat. That way your airway isn't blocked, which makes you snore. It's like having a clothes pin on your tongue like this. But Yolanda wasn't a fan. It's horrible, and let me tell y'all, I, I, I wore it for about an hour, and that's it, guys an hour, it is terrible. She said the longer it was suctioned to your tongue, the more uncomfortable the product was in her mouth. After about an hour of not being able to sleep because of the retainer itself, she took it out and likely snored the rest of the night. We asked a doctor from DMC what he thought about the mouthpiece. We have to be careful uh, before trying things off the shelf. Uh, and you need to be sure what you're using first is safe. Next, we had her try these Snore Care nose vents that sell for $19. They're silicone tubes that apparently open up your airway. They're actually not bad. I mean, as far as comfort. Yolanda said the first night, the product actually fell out when she moved around in her sleep. But she said they did help with the volume of her snoring. It seemed like it worked. You could still hear the snoring. It wasn't as loud. Overall, though, the nose vents didn't stop her snoring altogether. It just offered a little bit of relief. So the final test results? Well, Yolanda thinks it's better for you to see your doctor if snoring is preventing you from getting a good night's sleep. No, I wouldn't invest in them. Not at all. Nope. We'll put more information about the products you saw in this story and also advice from the doctor we interviewed, all the information to help you solve that snoring problem once and for all. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank.